the brand new NVIDIA GTX 960, but more specifically today, the Asus GTX 960 Strix OC Edition. Is it a good card? Does it smash its rivals into oblivion? Let's find out. So yes, today we've got the Asus Strix GTX 960. Now this particular card obviously is a brand new card, it's just come out today. Um, and some of the most interesting things that you'll know about this particular card itself is it has 2 gig of VRAM, but it's running over 128 bit bus. Now, when the specifications have been leaked and people have been talking about it and the rumour mill has been spinning and spinning around, People thought it was going to have a 256 bus, you know, so, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, and, you know, one thing I will I will say is, although a 128 to 256, the memory bandwidth is going to be slightly lower on the 128, this particular card is all about efficiency. It's all about giving gamers the right performance to price ratio. Now, taking a look at this particular model, this is the Asus. Now, this is obviously going to be towards the high end of the spectrum in terms of price. But yeah, so on the front of the box we have the Asus logo, Strix obviously, you know, it is a Strix. It does have the Direct CU2 cooler. Now this particular cooler is semi-passive, just like all the other um, more recent 9 series Asus um, Strix cards. Got the Mean Owl on there, which supposedly eats flesh, you know. I don't want to mess with it, but yeah, on the back, We've got information about the Super Alloy Power, which is all about durability and cooling performance as well. GPU Tweak, now this, this thing is a fantastic addition. Um, GPU Tweak is officially an overclocking tool, but now it comes with a one year's premium license to exploit Gamecaster X. Fantastic if you're a streamer and you're not a big fan of fiddling with all the settings in OBS. So yeah, let's actually take the card out of the box and carry on. So moving on to the gubbins, or should I say the accessories of the GTX 960 Strix edition, we have a Strix graphics card and driver installation disc. Now this is useful if you haven't got access to the internet to start with and you want to install the driver directly from disc. Strix nice little sticker actually you know some people prefer to put um not prefer some people like to put stickers on the cases you know to show off the branding you know this particular one would be fantastic for a case window and we have the asus speed setup basically asus's version of a quick installation guide you know it's got information about the ports different languages as well um but yeah so i've got the card here itself it is in a nice, obviously well, well protected um, anti-static bag which protects it against electrical static discharge. Now, obviously, normally when you when you install and put components, I tend to touch a radiator and use an anti-static wristband, you know, to um, to alleviate the risk of this because this can kill components. It is known, and it has been um, known to happen previously. So yeah, let's take a look at the card itself. Get it all out of this get rid of the packaging and take a look at the beast itself. So the Asus Strix GTX 960 um, graphics card, as I mentioned, comes with a 2 gigabit of VRAM. It's a relatively small card. It measures in at 8.5 inches long, which, you know, isn't a long card. And given its um, nearest rival, the R9 285 from AMD, it's a smaller card, it has a lower TDP, and obviously it's designed for 1080p gaming specifically. This card isn't designed for 1440p for a couple of reasons. The first reason being, you know, the 2 gig of VRAM, it's not really acceptable for high-end, um, high resolutions these days, due to texture packs and, you know, um, anti-aliasing on graphics cards as well. Um, Nvidia have touted this card as a MOBA, um, specific card because um, the majority of gamers on Steam use graphics cards equal or lesser spec to a GTX 660 which 
obviously the 960 is a better card overall. So talking about Maxwell itself, we this is based off the GM206 chip. So it's a new chip from, from the Maxwell range. It's got higher efficiency and it's got a very low power draw. Um, it's got a thermal capacity of about 125 watts, which is, you know, good. It has a one six pin, so it's not very power hungry at all and it will run off literally every power supply other than a non-generic crappy branded one that will blow up if you, you even breathe on it. Let's not talk about that, let's get back onto the card. So as I mentioned before, the main rival to this particular graphics card is the R9285 from AMD. Now, it is a more expensive card. This particular card comes in at 189.99 RRP. Retailers might price it a little differently and it's probably the most expensive of the GTX 960s that are currently out and available today. The bottom end of the pricing structure is about 159.99 um, in the UK, which is, you know, given that the AMD 285 is about 180 to 190 pounds, depending on the cooler model, brand, price, spec, blah, 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 you know, the GTX 960 offers extraordinary value for money. Now, things that I'd like to talk about about the Asus, because this is obviously the Asus graphics card that we've got here, and not an NVIDIA reference. Asus have got five power phases on this card, um, which is designed for, for better overclocking, you know, more efficient power delivery, um, and, you know, it's got a semi-passive cooler, so if you're playing a low-demanding game, um, such as, like, Theme Hospital, you know, the fans aren't going to spin up at all. Um, word processing, web browsing, it's not going to spin up. Perfect HT PC card, you know, home theater PC, you know, perhaps, you know, I can't see the fans spinning up too much on, on just a normal 1080p HD video. So, fantastic stuff there from Asus. Now, that is obviously customizable in the Strix, um, well, not the Strix, the Asus GPU tweak software. You can change the fan profile about so that you've got ultimate flexibility on when, whether it's passive cooled up to like say 60 degrees or 70 degrees where it's not going to harm the card at all. It's going to war it's going to run warmer at idle, but at cool at obviously at load it's going to run pretty quiet cuz Asus have been you know extraordinary with the DCU and um, two coolers. So yeah. Touching more on the back of the card, the Asus card or the Asus variant I should say has a backplate. Now this is, isn't just designed to give extra thermal performance um, to the PCB at the back, but it looks absolutely effing gorgeous. You know, I love um, backplates and cards, and Asus haven't really protruded with this one. It's um, pretty, pretty, pretty simple. You know, it's all black. Asus logo there, as you can see. Um, ignore the sticker. Um, now, it does have a um, ledge for um, you can SLI these cards. Um, but personally, if you were going to SLI two of these, you'd as well get in the GTX 970 from NVIDIA as well. So yeah, it's quiet, it's gorgeous, you know, but, you know, I'm going to sum it all up for you now. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what I think about the card and my experience of it for about the past week. So yeah, Asus, Strix, GTX 960. Is this the card that you need to buy for 1080p gaming? Well, the short answer is yes. This particular card is amazing value for money. Um, even though it's at the upper end of the echelon of the GTX 960s, it's still a very good card and still a very good price. You know, the, the, there's two tales to this story. You know, you've got the people who want maximum settings all the time, capability of 1440p, and you've got those who just play 1080p and you know plan just to play the latest games on say the high settings not the ultra settings but high settings then if that's the kind of thing that you want to do 1080p gaming um this is the card for you perfect LAN cards may you ask yes um it will fit into a lot of small form factor pcs um 8.5 inches in in obviously length is pretty pretty petite size this is as you can see, the, the cooler hangs over the um, PCB a little bit, so the cooler is a little bit big for the card, but it's not too much of a detriment. It doesn't look bad. Um, looks pretty stylish, actually. So, yeah, 
it's quiet, it's gorgeous, it's ample of 1080p gaming, and it's the perfect 1080p budget card that you're gonna get, you know. If, you, if you're an Asus fanboy, um, you're gonna love this card. So, to sum it up, this is much better than the, H, the AMD 285, um, R9 285, which in my opinion, I don't know if you if you if you want to read the review, um, there's a link here to the R9 285. You know, it was, it was a poor card from AMD, poor showing, you know. Um, not to take anything away from Nvidia here, they've dominated it today in my opinion, overall, with the lower thermal um, performance low thermal performance, the lower TDP, higher efficiency, and overall much better graphics card in total. Um, so yeah, if you want one card, um, to tend to be gaming, then make sure you pick up an NVIDIA GTX 960. Thanks for watching guys. Um, there's a full, full detailed review including graphs, performance, benchmarks, you know, comparisons between this, the 285, the 970, the 980, etc, etc, yada yada. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, um, and I'll see you on my next video. Ciao for now.